previously on the Big Bigfoot Surge. What was that? Today we're going to gather some juicy stories to increase our chances of possibly finding Bigfoot. Our first stop is at a local neighborhood on the east side of the west coast of Oregon. Frank Town believes that he might have possibly seen Bigfoot in the backyard. Hey, nice to meet you. Jeb, Frank. Very nice to meet you. Top nice to meet you. Now can you give us as much information as you can with your encounter with Bigfoot? Of course. It all started when I heard a growling noise coming from my backyard. I walked outside and realized it was just my dog playing with its toys. But then I looked up and saw Bigfoot. Wow, what a story. Can you tell us any more? Nope. In my opinion, Frank's experience with Bigfoot only proves that there's a higher chance that he might possibly be real. As we continued to explore the south coast of East Kansas, we came across another witness that could hopefully help us raise our chances of possibly finding Bigfoot. So can you prove that you might have possibly seen Bigfoot? Absolutely. So I was watching my favorite rom-com on Lifetime when I heard an explosion from upstairs. I went upstairs to take a look and realized it was my brother just playing Call of Duty. But then I heard my mom scream downstairs and I ran downstairs and realized that she was just excited to hear that she got a part in the new Bollywood movie with Irfan Khan. All of a sudden, I heard a tree branch snap outside. I walked out to see nothing but what was left of the Bigfoot destruction. So this is the branch I was telling you about earlier. Bart's fascinating story helped us increase our chances of finding Bigfoot, but we need an expert to analyze this branch for us. Yeah, it's definitely broken. Thanks for all our help. <laughs> no problem, dude. With Rick's insightful analysis, we have come to a conclusion that Bigfoot might have possibly went into these woods, which means we're going on a hunt. Next time on the Big Bigfoot Surge. What was that?